Hey miners, Mining King here. Today we're going to talk about equilibria, which I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. So let's get right into it. All right, guys, before we get into this video, I just want to give a huge shout out and thank you to Red Panda Mining. Um, I recently did a trade with him, so if you haven't seen that video, go check out Red Panda. I appreciate the shout out, Red Panda. Thank you very much, buddy. Really, really do appreciate that. As well as, want to give a shout out to DJ Mines for giving me an opportunity to do that collab video with him on the, uh, like, to me, like the GPU, like, game show. It was really, really fun, and um, I really do appreciate it. So, thank you, DJ. All right, guys, let's get back to the video. All right, so I'm going to start focusing on, like, other coins and other projects because as we know ethereum is going to be going proof of stake so this is not financial advice in any way shape or form you know this is just my opinion we'll just get that right out of the way right now um but i'm going to start looking at other projects now we do know we do know that you know <clears throat> rio and conceal and equilibria sometimes their profitability is actually better than ethereum so I figured, you know, this could be some coins that maybe people look to mine. Um, I don't have any experience with these coins in particular, but I figured I'd do a video today on how to make a wallet and how to mine those coins in case you guys are interested in that. So let's hop over to my PC and I'll show you how to do it. All right, guys, we're over here at my PC and we are at equilibria.com. Network. I'm going to start reading up on this project a little bit more. Um, it looks really interesting, so I figured I'd do a video on it. I don't know a lot about it yet, but I am learning about it. So they also do offer community ran nodes. So that's really cool. I, you know, I wonder how this works and what opportunities you get with the nodes. So I'm going to look into that feature as well. But today we're going to learn how to mine equilibria right because if we come over here to what to mine and this is very interesting right so i am on the a2000 right because i just got one of those and mine is not shut modded by the way and i'm not going to shut mod mine so just to let you guys know but if you come down here i plan on doing some videos on the a2000 about some of these other coins because on all these coins they are all zeroed out so one of the coins when I was looking at them was Equal Libria. It is on the Cryo Knight GPU algorithm. This is this algorithm you should be able to, I think, as far as I know, that you should get the same mega hash on Equal Libria as you do on Ryo or Conceal. So you can use that for profitability. I will be doing some videos later on on maybe some of the profitability on some of these coins for the A2000. So make sure that you get subscribed so you guys don't miss that video. So let's go back to the equal libria network so this is their page we're going to scroll down a little bit okay and the first thing we need to do in order to be able to obviously mine it is to get their wallet we're going to download now if you have so let's go back if you have mac or linux just click on either one of these pages so i have windows so that's what i'm going to be using today so then after you click on the windows you'll be greeted with this so they, they, it looks like they have a GUI and a client. I'm going to click the GUI because that's the one I know that works. I'm, so what I like to do is in my downloads, I always like to um, extract my files. So we're going to click and extract all. It's going to extract it into my downloads. So now that we have the wallet, we're going to open up the wallet and you're obviously going to have to allow it access in order to be able to work. Now, this is just going to be a throwaway wallet. I already have an Equilibria wallet, so I'm just doing it to show you guys how it works. So when you come to this page, you're obviously going to need to select your language. Mine's English, so that's what I'm going to be using. Um, now, they do give you three options. You could do a remote, which is less security, while it would only connect to a remote node to make all transactions. And then you click here, get started quickly with this default option. Wallet will download the full blockchain, but use a remote node while syncing. And then local, <clears throat> full security, wallet will download the full node, 
you will not be able to transact until the sync is complete. So kind of keep that in mind, whatever option you guys want, obviously this is going to be the most secure. So if that's what we should do, then that's what we're gonna do. But um, I'm just gonna use this option today, the local and remote, because it seems like it's the default option. So that's what we're gonna go with. Now, pay attention to this in case you need to access these files at all. It's gonna be, so make sure you have the correct uh, paths and you know where you're installing it to. Okay, and then we're gonna click next. And now we're just, now we're gonna have to wait. So now we're, now we're pretty much downloading and installing. To me, in my opinion, this is like similar to a core wallet. So you are gonna have a little bit of patience. You are gonna have to wait a little bit of time. So I find though too that if sometimes core wallets do freeze up, sometimes you just need to close them back out and reopen them to kind of get them out of that locked position. Um, my, my experience with core wallets has not been the greatest. So once you guys get into the wallet, and you, if you do the local and remote option, you'll be able to create a new wallet. So you're gonna to wanna to come up here, create new wallet, and we'll just call it, we're just gonna call it the test wallet. And then if you wanna put a password in, you can put a password in if you want, and then we're just gonna create wallet. And it's like, do you not wanna put a password? So it does recommend a password. So we're just going to just do test wallet. And then it will give you your seed phrase, right? Then we're going to click open wallet. So make sure that you save, save your seed freeze. This is just a throwaway wallet, so there will not be any coins in this wallet if you're gonna try and use this wallet. So I'm just using this for demonstration purposes, as well as you won't be able to do transactions if you do the remote local, because it does let us create our wallet, but if you see down here, it is still syncing. So just know that. So then to, now that we, now that we have our wallet, right, we're gonna need to do a, um, we need to create a flight sheet, right? So the first thing that we have to do is, is we need to copy down our wallet address. So we're gonna come over to our, our, uh, our farm here in HiveOS, just like this. And then we're gonna come over here to flight sheets. And then we're gonna come down here to our coin. And I believe, yes, the three letter acronym for Equilibria is XEQ. So we're going to do this. We're going to click add wallet um, and then we're going to paste the wallet and we're going to call it test wallet. Okay, we're then going to create. We're then going to pick our pool. Now I, I do really, really like hero miners. I highly recommend them. I use them for flux. They're a great pool. So I recommend using them. Now on this particular algorithm though, there's not a whole lot of miners supported on here. Um, I did try some of these other ones out and I found that they don't work that great. So I recommend using the Crypto Dredge uh, if you're using NVIDIA and um, I'm gonna recommend the XM Rig AMD if you have AMD cards, but I recommend using Crypto Dredge if you have NVIDIA cards. We're going to make our flight sheet. So now that we have our coin, our wallet, and our pool and our miner set up, we're going to click create flight sheet. Okay, so it was successfully created here. You could see it right here. And what we'll do is, is I'll come over here to one of my workers and we'll put it here on this A2000. So uh, obviously Team Red Miner doesn't pick up the A2000. So what we're going to do is we're gonna come into our flight sheet and we're going to edit it. And then we're going to on this second line item where I have for T-Rex Miner, I'm actually gonna change it and we are going to do Equilibria. And we're going to pick our test wallet. We're going to pick our pool. And once again, I'm gonna pick Crypto Dredge. And then we're gonna click Update and then I'm gonna do All Workers. Now that really created two flight sheets because this is a dual flight sheet because I have AMD and NVIDIA on here. So I did already make the regular flight sheet for this. So if you only have NVIDIA, you would do it this way. If you have other cards, you would have to set up your flight sheet to, to, to do it this way if you have AMD and NVIDIA cards. So we're going to click, I'm gonna go into shell. 
and then we're going to do the command mot uh, d watch to do to watch our miner here i don't like i said i don't have a lot of experience with equilibria so i'm not too sure on the cryo knight uh gpu algorithm what the overclock should be at right now on my overclocks i have this at um essentially this is at ethereum um this is what i was mining with ethereum on there so i'm not really sure how great it's going to be so we're going to have to obviously do some i'll have to do some testing as far as hash rates go but anyways guys this is how you set up to mine equilibria on your invi uh, you know on your cards here i showed you how to make a wallet with the equilibria uh windows wallet and i showed you how to make the flight sheet so i kept this video pretty you know short and to the point um i didn't want to make it too long i will be doing a hash rate video and figuring out the best overclocks for the crypto night uh, algorithm for the a2000s as it is not listed on what to mine so remember to stay you know get subscribed so that way you guys don't miss that video drop. All right, guys, that's going to conclude today's video. I hope it was informative and you guys liked it. If you guys could please like, share, and subscribe, I really would appreciate it. And just remember, this is the Mining King giving you the most hashes, and I'll see you next time.